Hey everybody, this is Corey with CoreyBreaks.com. Um, really excited to have you join us here live tonight. We got something real exciting for you. Uh, a couple of buddies of mine are doing a pack battle with this Don Russ Elite. So, uh, both uh, Mike and Matthew paid to have, um, it's uh, five cards per pack, 20 packs per box, so they each get 10 packs. And what we're going to do is the person who has the best cards is going to get all of it. They're going to get the whole box. So here at Koi Breaks, uh, we do ship everything. So uh, if Matthew, like this, uh, this box of Elite, it comes with uh, two autographs and one memorabilia. So let's say, um, let's say Mike got both autographs and the memorabilia card, and he got pretty much all of the good cards from his 10 packs, then he would get all of the cards in the box. Pretty simple, uh, fun way to, uh, to explore some new products. Um, I also wanna share with you, uh, we are going to be doing a review of the gold first off the line, just as soon as panini.com ships it out to me and I get it. We are gonna break that for you and do a review for you. What I'm really excited about is that we are gonna be giving away one of the cards from that break, okay? So there's seven cards in one pack, five of them are supposed to be hits. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have you at home, leave us a comment. Tell us which card you think is the best. And then everybody who voted for that card, we are gonna raffle off that card and we are gonna ship it to you. So that is uh, some of the reviews that we're gonna be coming up. Uh, that is gonna be next Friday at eight o'clock mountain time. Uh, if if panini.com is able to uh, ship that out to me in a timely manner. Uh, apparently they are still processing my payment. Um, so yeah, uh, if you like us here at Corey's Break, uh, subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, leave us a comment, tell us what you like, what you don't like, what I could do better. Um, the, uh, the shine on the head is part of the show. So, uh, if you say wear a hat or anything like that, you will probably just be ignored. Um, but we are going to get right into this pack battle for the Don Russ Elite Box. All right. So we're going to get in here and we're just going to mix these up. 20 packs, five cards each. The person who has the most cards up on display is probably going to be the person who wins the box. So, well, let's mix them up a little bit more. All right. Boom, boom, boom. They look even to me. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All righty. These are gonna be Mike's. And these are gonna be Matthew's. Who should we start with first? Let's start with Matthew. All right. Starting off with a DeAndre Swift. Oh, oh, right off the bat, we have a Pen Pals. Oh, this is going to be, whew, man. Is that two on one card? That is two on one card, Pen Pals. Oh, look at that. That is two on-card autographs, Najee Harris and Travis Etienne. That is what Matthew is starting with. Uh, I am going to have to sleeve this one right now. First pack, seriously? First pack. First pack is already dominating. We've got that. All righty. Matthew, I know, I know you got to be liking this start. Najee Harris, Travis Etienne, Pen Pals, On Card, Signature. 
That is a nice hit. A great way to start out this battle. First pack magic. First pack magic. Let's see that thing real quick. There you go. Alrighty. And the, and the first pack magic doesn't stop there because we have an elite deck Mahomes. That's kind of cool. It is the 15 of spades. So that. Uh, and then we have a base Devin White and a base John Elway. All right. So let's open Mike's first pack. Who knows? Might get something super sweet. Oh, he's got a Super Bowl kid reporter. He's got a chance to take his kid to the Super Bowl and have them ask adorable questions to awesome athletes. We got a Nick Bosa base. We got a Patrick Mahomes base. We got Kadarius Tony. Aspirations. That is numbered to 99. That's a little bit a little bit coming back, a little a little bit fighting. And we got a base Derek Carr and a base Justin Tucker. Man, that's going to be tough to beat. A Justin Tucker. Dude, that guy is awesome. He is he's a great kicker. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, Matthew. Oh. Well, let's open it up and see what it is. Before before I start guessing what might be in here. We got Matthew's second pack. We got Brandon Cook's base. Oh, oh boy. Oh boy. It is a thick one. I did, I suspected it felt a little thick. And oh, it's one of those moxie cards. Oh boy. Boom. Delvin Cook Moxie. That is very nice. One color patch. And Matthew also has Elite Company. There's uh, Julio Jones, Amari Cooper, Henry Ruggs, and Devonta Smith. And a Tom Brady base and Joe Mixon base. Oh, so far, one of the autographs and one of the memorabilia is going to Matthew. And Mike has a card that is numbered to 99. It's a rookie card. A giant rookie card numbered to 99. So there's some good good things in there and some bad things in there. But uh, Kadarius Tony, yeah. First round pick for the New York Giants. We got Jimmy Garoppolo. I think the only reason anybody knows that is T. Higgins. Oh, we got another numbered card for Mike. We got another numbered card for Mike. It is numbered to 999. There is only 998 other cards like this, plus the ones that don't have the number from 999. So, he's got another numbered card. For Mike, Sage Surratt, rookie card. And Stefan Gilmore base and Teddy Bridgewater base. Um, that was Mike, so it's time to do Matthew again. Guys, once again, if you like what you see, if you're having fun like we're having fun with this, uh, go ahead and, and hit that like button. Tell us what you like. Tell us what you love. Who's your favorite team? We love talking about this stuff. So just let me know what's going on. We got Joe Namath. And this is from Matthew's deck. We're back on Matthew. We got a uh, shiny card coming up. All shiny. Yeah, they're all shiny. But this one is a Terry McLaurin. I'm not sure what they're calling that that effect. It's a cool looking card. Lasers. <laughs> Looks like lasers. 
Jerry Rice. Oh, that's an automatic winner if you got a Jerry Rice card. Send the box. <laughs> Jonathan Taylor. Alrighty. What's Mike got? There's still an autograph left. And I'm saying, I don't know what's going to win. Completely unbiased. But if someone can come back with a Trevor Lawrence autographed card, or even better, a Trey Lance autographed card. Yeah, Trey Lance. Yeah, Trey Lance. Signed finally. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, he finally signed. He finally signed? Yep. Good. Jamal Adams base, Nick Chubb base. We got a Jalen Waddle. Nice. Numbered to five ninety nine. There's some pretty decent stuff in here. So Mike's got Matthew's getting all of the autographs and the memorabilia, and Mike is getting all of the numbered cards. Dan Marino. And Josh Allen. So I think Jalen Waddle is basically like Tyreek Hill. You think Waddle is just like Hill? I think he's gonna be really good. I think he's all out of I do. I am a Waddle fan. All right. So we're back to Matthew. He's got a Keenan Allen base card. Kyler Murray base. Oh, it is the other guy, Terrence Marshall from LSU. Rookie elitist. I just, I just wonder why Panini doesn't hire, you know, English speakers. That's all. I'm just... What, rookie elitist? Rookie elitist. Do you think... Do you th what happened to rated rookie? <laughs> what happened to rated rookie? It's not less. Uh, I don't know. Dude, that thing is stamped all the way through. Oh, yeah. TJ Watt and Ezekiel Elliott. I don't know, I just see some of the stuff that they do and I'm like, it's obvious that you're Italian. <laughs> They're based in Texas, aren't they? No. Oh. <laughs> I thought they were Panini in Texas. Panini America is based in Texas. Oh. Panini is an Italian company. There's not some dude in like in Italy that's like doing the football stuff. Right? No, I'm sure I'm sure it's not some random Italian. <laughs> who thinks football is a game that you play with your feet that's doing this. But sometimes there's some things that I look at and I'm like, maybe there is somebody in Italy who thinks that football is a sport that you play with your feet. That's making these decisions. I don't know. I don't know for sure. All right. So we are back on Matthew's pack. Let's see how many we got left. Six each. It's got six there. We got six there so we're back on mike's pack excuse me back on mike's pack here's justin jefferson second year oh look at this we got a taylor hineke card huh that is interesting i am wondering if that is actually a rookie card so we will have to we'll have to we'll have to look into that for you guys and see this might be the first year that uh that a card has been made for, for Mr. Taylor Hineke from Old Dominion University. Oh, that's a nice looking card. A field vision, Brett Favre. We got a base AJ Brown, a base Barry Sanders, and the Kid Reporter card. Alrighty, we started with Matthew. We got six each. Let's do one for Matthew. So far, Matthew's winning in a line landslide, but well, maybe not. I had to go back and look at this. This Patrick Mahomes elite deck is pretty. That's pretty, right? Pretty sweet. Yeah. I was looking at it. it's black. It's not a one of one though. No. I was kind of hoping it was. Um, you were looking at that. 
That is also that is also Matthew's card. Oh, was it? Yeah, that wow. one. That one. That was the card that was right after the the pen pals card. <laughs> <laughs> so like it was it was a base card and then that pen pals card and then that Mahomes oh, card and I'm in, in the first all all in the first pack. Oh, Mike has been struggling struggling to get back ever since that first pack. All right, so we got uh, Matthew's pack right here, Derrick Henry, Jared Goff in his new Lions uniform. We got a Randy Moss. Straight cash, homie. Oh, that is a nice looking card. I like it. I like it. Don Russ Elite. We got a Vaughn Miller. Julian Edelman. Well, there you go. At least that pack wasn't all killer. There was some filler in that pack. All right. I don't know if you remember how hard it was to pull Donner's Elite cards growing up. No. I don't. They're like one in like every 10,000 packs, it felt like. All right. So Mike's got another shot here. Joey Bosa base. Kelvin Ridley base. Oh, look at this. It is going to be a checkerboard rookie. So something shiny. And it is numbered to 399, keeping with the trend of Matthew gets the autographs, Mike gets the numbered cards. It is 206 of 399. JC Horn, defensive player. JC Horn. And we got a base Daniel Jones. That's a cool card. And a DeAndre Hopkins. Yeah, that is a cool card. I like the color on that is a cool card. Unfortunately, it's a defensive player. Doesn't matter. It's still cool. It's still cool. All right. A color match if he wasn't. We are halfway through. Five packs matter. each. Let's see what Matthew has. Halfway through. We got a Mike Gusecki base. We got Aaron Jones base. We got a numbered card that doesn't go to Mike. And it's a Chuba Hubbard to $9.99. Chuba Hubbard to $9.99. We got Marquise Hollywood Brown and James Robinson. Let's see what Mike's got here. Still looking for another autograph on box per average. We got Delvin Cook. Oh, here we go. Looks like we got another autograph card. This one is going to Mike. And it looks like, oh damn, Jonathan Ogden. Back to the future. That's the winner. 16 of 49. 16 of 49. It's a nice looking card. I mean, who doesn't love collecting offensive linemen? It's Jonathan Ogden. Though. It's Jonathan Ogden. Is he in the Hall of Fame? Should be. Well, I do have a special surprise for Mike. The next card is a Trevor Lawrence. Nice. Look at that. That is a rookie on deck foil. Trevor Lawrence card. It's weird that he still has the, uh, the Clemson on there when every other... Every other rookie has has their NFL team. So Jalen Waddle has the the Miami. So that 
that is going to put Mike back up in the in the standings. At least at least there's a competition now. I mean, that was an autograph that was numbered to 49. There's only 48 other cards like that. And we got a Matthew Stafford and a Tom Brady base card. I'm just leave up that Brady. Things worth like five bucks. All right. Let's go back to Matthew. See what he's got. Oh, he's got something shiny in there. Let's see. We got Quinn and Williams and a Miles Garrett. Let's see here. Looks like the diamond. Diamond cut. Bangle. It is a Joe Mixon. To 99. Joe Mixon to 99. Matthew gets another numbered card. To go towards his total. Now remember here, guys. The person who has the nicest cards gets everything. If you're familiar with how a pack battle works. We got... I heard we got to replace the, the card that's on the right with this. Oh yeah, for sure. For sure. So, that's Mike's best card. There's Matthew's best card. In a second, I'll step back and stop moving my hand so you can see them. Pen Pals with uh, Najee Harris and Travis Etienne. And Mike has Jonathan Ogden autographed Back to the Future numbered. What, what, is that? what was that number two? 49, I believe. Yep, 16 of 49. Did you want to put that uh, <clears throat> Trevor Lawrence? Oh, no, I did Trying to find a bigger one. Bigger top loader. Oh, okay. Do you have any big top loaders on there? I don't think I do. Uh, All right. So we got Matthew again. We got a uh, Michael Strahan base. Devonte Adams base. We got a Don Russ Elite Seth Williams. Sixth round wide receiver. He's uh, playing for the Broncos. Well, he's he was drafted by the Broncos. They've got a pretty deep uh, wide receiver room, so hopefully he can find some playing time because he's just a physical specimen. Uh, this is another one ha that says Auburn on it, which is interesting. And after him, we got Henry Ruggs. Base and Terry Bradshaw base. All right. Oh. Let's see Matthew's pack here. Justin Herbert, wrong year. I know I was uh, used to getting excited about Justin Herbert, but that was... Matt Ryan. Oh, nice. These elite deck cards are pretty cool. That is Khalil Mack. It's a cool looking card. Larry Legend base and Jalen Ramsey base. Let's see, another pack for Mike here. Sam Darnold, Khalil Mack, I've got an interesting one here, 
wild card game ascension I guess that is a Cam Akers card I think that's a Cam Akers card Oh, they're just calling it a wild card. 30 to 20. And Mark Brunel. And Ben Roethlisberger. All right. All right. Down to two packs each. So far, Matthew's winning with the, the Pen Pals, Najee Harris and Travis Etienne card that alone that alone has got the winner right now so second to last deck for Matthew we got Tyreek Hill base Chase Young base we got rookie on deck Jeremiah Awusu Koromoa Koromoa uh, J-O-K is how I've referred to him so um, <clears throat> rookie linebacker for the Cleveland Browns I believe it's a nice looking card you got Luke Kinkley and Drew Brees And here's Mike's second to last pack. Hoping for hoping for a miracle. Got Randy Moss, Ryan Tannehill. Got the checkerboard Joe Mixon, numbered to 399. Got Lamar Jackson and Aaron Donald. And the last pack, last pack for Matthew. Let's see if he can add any points up. Any last minute points. Now, some of you uh, might be asking, how are we determining which is the best card? Are we doing it by eBay price or some other, some other um, book price? And no, no, we are just doing it based solely on my opinion. Um, if you disagree with my opinion, you think that the Jonathan Ogden card is better than the Najee Harris and uh, Travis Etienne card, then go ahead and, and tell me why in the, in the comments, because, I mean, why? Why would you think that? Anyway, there's, there's room for debate, uh, you know, differing opinions. We got George Kittle. Joe Burrow. Oh, look at that. Another Travis Etienne card. A rookie elitist card. Of Travis Etienne. Pretty sweet hit there. DJ Moore and Josh Jacobs. All right. The last hope. The last hope, even though all of the on-card averages... We've got, uh, one -on -one. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, Mike, a, a one of one, a one of one would do it for you. Yeah, I mean, basically, that's you need a one -on -one quarterback. pretty much, you pretty much need a one of one, something really sweet in order to pull out the wind from Dak Prescott on the back. It is a base da Dak Prescott on the back. Okay, game over, I Yeah, totally. Oh, You're a total winner. Joe Montana. Later. Aaron Rodgers. This is like an all entire quarterback pack. You better hope so, because there is a checkered board in there. Oh, oh, it is Josh Allen checkerboard three ninety nine. Sweet. And a Juju Smith Schuster base and a Dak Prescott base. All right, guys. So that was the pack battle. Um, 
I don't see any comment that is going to change my mind from declaring Matthew the winner with his pen pals card. I mean, it was that first deck, that first pack. He got the pen pals card as well as where's the Mahomey as well as the Mahomes card there. So, uh, Matthew, congratulations. Let me just do the, the quick recap here for you. Um, all of this is going to be shipped out to Matthew for having, uh, having won the, back, the pack battle. So we got uh, Josh Allen to 399. We got rookie elitist Travis Etienne. Joe Mixon numbered to 399. The rookie on deck, the JOK card. The elite deck, Khalil Mack. The rookie, Don Russ Elite rookie card for uh, Seth Williams. The Joe Mixon uh, Diamond to 99. Tom Brady base card. We got uh, Trevor Lawrence, rookie on deck. We got Sage Surratt numbered to 999. We got the Elite Company. We got Chiba Hubbard to 9.99. We got J.C. Horn. We got J.C. Horn numbered to 3.99. We got Randy Mouse in the Don Russ Elite. We got Field Vision, Brett Favre. We got Rookie Elitist, Terrence Marshall Jr. And Terry McLaurin. McLaurin. In, um, in the laser, laser finish. I'll have to check and see what, uh, see what Panini's calling that. So, there's that. And then we got... The Pen Pals on card auto for Najee Harris and Travis Etienne. So that's really the card that sealed the deal for the Matthews win. We got the Jonathan Ogden back to the future. That's it's a nice looking card. Jonathan Jonathan Ogden, he was he was a beast on that offensive line. Kadarius Tony, first round pick. And Jalen Waddle, also a first round pick, numbered to 599. So that's our recap, guys. Congratulations, Matthew. Nice win. Um, I mean it wasn't wasn't really close, like after that first after that first pack. But uh Mike, Matthew, thank you for uh for choosing Corey's Corey's breaks, Corey's card breaks for your pack battle. Um and uh, once again, guys, if you liked if you liked uh, what you saw here tonight, just go ahead and uh, push that thumbs up button. Uh, leave a comment. Subscribe to our channel. I do want to tell you once again about about the the review of the gold Panini Gold NFL first off the line box that we're going to be getting uh, hopefully next week, so that we can do the review for you at fr live Friday, 8 p.m. Mountain Time, and the person who uh, everybody's going to uh, leave a comment on which card they think is the best card. And then uh, we will take all of the people who voted for the, the, voted for the right card. No, the card that got the most votes, we're going to take those votes and we're going to do a raffle and we're going to send off that card.